in July, August and September I got 20 books. Uh, I feel like it's kind of okay. Four were gifted to me, three were from bookish boxes. Uh, I got some new releases like free orders and whatever. So I think it's okay. So uh, let's show you what I got. Hello walls, what's up? I hope you're good. So it's already time for another book haul video. I have my card here, like TBR card, because some of the books here are going to go to my TBR card because they some kind of priority and the others will go on my shelves. So I will show you uh, which one I'm gonna prioritize in prioritize, prioritize, prioritize in the upcoming months, prioritize. Which one I'm planning on reading soon. <laughs> First, I'm gonna start with two books I got uh, from author, so I didn't say that in the intro, but whatever. So I got this, so The Wolf uh, and the Water by Josie Jaffrey. It is a middle grade fantasy arc and I'm so excited about it. Not because it has a wolf, I mean, it's because it has a wolf. The cover is also beautiful. Some secrets are worth killing for. So Kala lives in the society or whatever and everything seems fine. She trusts everyone, etc. And until her dad dies and in a very weird way and uh, you know she wants to know the truth uh, behind the dad's death etc but uh, according to the rules her mom has to remarry immediately. So Kella's new stepfather is apparently a monster and there is something behind the wall. Hmm, she learns the truth of what really climbs behind the wall at the end of the valley. She faces a choice, share what she knows and jeopardize her escape or abandon him to this fate along with the rest of the city. Him is actually a friend she might have feeling for. So I'm intrigued and it's going on my priority TBR uh, but I'm gonna keep it I think for uh, November because of the Believaton. I'm gonna have to read as many middle grades as I can so I'm putting it on my TBR but here under, not on top, if that makes any sense. And the other one is actually Spooked by Diana Rosengard that was also kindly sent to me by the author, it's signed, etc. And it says here, so she was dead, she was still my best friend. Apparently the best friend of the main girl is gonna die and she wasn't of course expecting that because she is in a school and you know high school drama etc you need your best friends with you but apparently no one knows exactly what happened to her best friend like they don't know the killer so she is I, I guess determined to uh, find out the truth so it's more like a mystery thriller contemporary than a fantasy I don't think it has anything fantasy in it unless there is some kind of ghost coming into the story but I'm intrigued and it's also going on my priority TBR but not especially this month. Then another book that I bought in July is The Jumbies by Joyce Pattis. I've already read that book. I gave it three stars. I'm not gonna put it on my TBR but back on my shelves. Love the Caribbean mythology and beliefs uh, incorporated in that story, so in that middle grade. But I found that the characters were lacking some kind of personality. They weren't one layered. I didn't feel connected to them and I found it a bit sad or whatever. But yeah, overall I really appreciate that uh, story and I think I'm gonna listen to the second book and the third book in the series because it's available on script actually so yeah then I got The Gods of Men by Barbara Kloss and apparently it has to do with... I forgot what it was about, but Sable hated the gods, she hated what men did in their name. But Sable soon discovers she's just the start of the necromancer's plan to take over the five provinces. Oh yes, apparently she has some kind of power, she has to hide, but there is someone who wants her in a team and wants to protect her, but apparently he wants to use her as well. I think that her uh, power is actually, yeah, as I said, uh, forbidden, etc. And yeah, she's gonna have to make choices. And I felt like it was really interesting. And I think that there are some wolves in that story. So it's also on my priority TBR, not for next month, but hopefully soon. I love the cover. The cover in French is even more beautiful. That's how I discovered that book actually via uh, Instagram. So, um, yeah, I I want to read it. And this is actually the last one I got in July. So I killed uh, Zoe Spanos by Kate Frick. It's a book I got in Unplugged Book Box with spread edges. Never got any spread edges in um, that like box. Here it is. It's, I believe, a mystery 
uh, why -E. I guess Zoe got killed but we don't know what happened exactly and maybe her friend or whatever is gonna go on that investigation it sounds interesting because it also has to do with some kind of podcast or whatever because there is like an influencer or whatever some kind of personality who is on social media who is actually talking about that case and leading some kind of investigation and she's gonna ask people you know interview people etc and apparently there are suspicions and something's gonna happen and I think her friend the friend of Zoe uh, is gonna get like charged with uh, her murder etc and uh, yeah it sounds interesting I'm gonna prioritize it but not this one I'm gonna prioritize every single book I how I feel that's not good Let's move on to August and the first one is actually True Love by Jay Christoph. So this is the last book in the Lifelike series, a YA sci-fi retelling type of book. I loved it. I give it a uh, five stars so it's not going on my uh, TBR card. The first one was a four stars, the second one was a three stars and this one was a five stars. An amazing ending to the story. Then in August, I got this one in an unplugged book box, so A Song Below Water by Bethany C. Morrow. I gave it two stars because I was confused all along. So I love the mythological aspect of the story with the sirens etc etc but I didn't understand anything except from the sirens like because you have some kind of creatures the elocos and you got details about them but you never get a description of them or like something that will make you understand their role in that world or whatever because the main character is going to be like yeah, she's an Eloko, so that's fine. And you're just like, why is it fine? I don't understand. So I was really confused all along that book. Uh, but yeah. Then I got Gargante. So this is a sequel to Malamander by Thomas Taylor. I'm going to prioritize that book for November. I mean, in November for the Believathon. I really enjoyed like Malamander. I gave it three stars because I didn't feel connected to the characters, but I still really enjoyed the story and the mystery and like the roles of the two main characters being like kind of lost and fun because the little girl is going to go to that hotel where the main character works actually. And she's going to be like, okay, my parents, disappeared so many years ago I want to be found uh, because she's actually like orphan or whatever and there is also some kind of malamander etc but I feel like here we have a gargantus is the gargantus some kind of mythical creatures as well I I, I don't know but I love the cover and I want to read that book except I mean in November then we have Potkin and Strips by Sophie Green. So this is also a book uh, I've read for like as the Jumbies for the Middle Grade Monthly Book Club by Jade, Gavin and Pris. So I give this four stars. Mystery Middle Grade with amazing characters and very interesting twist that I wasn't expecting. So I would definitely recommend that series to a lot of people. And uh, I want to continue with the series. So... That's good. Then this one, The Rise and Fall of the Dinosaurs and Your History of a Lost World by Steve Brissate. Brissat? Brissate. This is like a non-fiction about dinosaurs. It's a lot of text, so you don't have many pictures. So it's not like pictures of dinosaurs all along, whatever. So I'm really, really into dinosaurs, in case you didn't know. But since I joined the booktube community, I was focusing on all the new releases and the YA and the fantasy and whatever and I want to get back to what I love uh it doesn't mean that I'm not gonna read any fantasy anymore any YA anymore whatever but I want to try to focus on dinosaurs on astrophysics I love middle grades and adult books so there's gonna be a bit of changes here but I'm really looking forward to that one and it is going on top top of my TBR the last one I got is actually Skyward so this is a graphic novel that I read I think I get it three stars or four stars i really enjoyed the graphic i enjoyed uh the story also but i i didn't feel like that involved in it i don't know if it's because it's a graphic novel so you don't get as much substance as you get in a book or whatever but i really appreciate that this uh graphic novel is actually three volumes long so i'm definitely gonna finish uh, that series but yeah Okay, by the way, I think I really did good with everything that I bought in August because I've read quite a lot of them already. I also pre-ordered two books in August. They're not here, they haven't been released yet, but this is The Invisible Life of Adi Leroux by V. Schwab. And the second one is my most anticipated read of the year. It is Over the Woodward Wall by Deborah A. Baker, aka Shannon Maguire. 
Then in September, I bought quite a few books, I have to be honest. So this one, The Language of Ghosts by Heather Fawcett. So she's a writer of Even in the Darkest Stars and she wrote a middle grade fantasy, just the title, just the cover, I want it. I am not sure what it is about forced into exile on an enchanted moving island, ex-princess Noah Marchena has two missions, reclaim a family stolen throne and ensure that the dark powers her older brother Jolien possesses don't go to his head in the process and apparently she doesn't really know if she has to help her brother because if she helps him she might lose him completely so yeah I'm intrigued of course it's gonna go on my priority TV but for November for the believe -a -thon. I got this book so Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson the cover is absolutely gorgeous I got that book in an unplugged book box I'm not really that intrigued in that book like I'm intrigued because it sounds okay but it's a YA contemporary which is not what I like so uh, it's definitely not going on my priority TBR but we shall see a book that's not even going on my priority TBR because I'm gonna start that book in a few hours it is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini also one of my most anticipated reads of this year it's a beast it's 900 pages almost it's an adult sci-fi so I expect it to be quite heavy it's signed I hate that sticker but uh, I love that it's signed I want to read that book I don't want to know anything I know what it is about like I read the synopsis but I don't want to reread it I want to be surprised so that's definitely something I'm gonna read like in a few hours so I mean in a few hours tomorrow tomorrow Another book that's going on my November TBR, this is Frost Heart 2, so Escape from Aurora by Jamie Littler, so look at the spread edges, it's just gorgeous, it's a Waterstones edition, I got it from Waterstones and it's just gorgeous, it has amazing uh, illustrations, I really cannot wait to read that one but it's for November as well because I really need to keep my middle grades for November so middle grade fantasy, pa fantasy I will say because the setting is mostly cold it's all about friendships and family and secrets and you know being rejected because people are scared of a power you have etc I really really love this so it's definitely going on my priority TBR on November then I got this book, so Fierce Fairy Tales, Another Story to Serious Soul by Nikita Gill. I got that book from Ola. I will link her Instagram down below. She kindly gifted to me because it has such a special place in her heart. And I don't know if I've talked about that book uh, in my vlogs or whatever, but I'm really grateful for that book because it has amazing quotes. Like there is one that she told me and she shared with me and I was like, okay, this sounds just like me. This just made me happy, etc., etc. And yeah, I, I cannot wait to read all the fairy tales. And it's such, it has, beautiful like illustrations as well this one i really love yes there is a wolf but of course i'm attracted to anything that is wolf included that is that includes wolf wow that was in english but whatever i'm really looking forward to that one it's on my priority tbr but i feel like this book i should read one story at a time but not just being read it so uh it's going on my priority tbr but it's not something I'm just gonna read, 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 read. I'm gonna take my time to read and to process every single story. Thank you again, Ola. It really means a lot to actually get a book that means a lot to you, so thank you. Then I got three books by Alex. Thank you, Alex. You really didn't have to do that. It is a series I've been wanting to read for such a long time, and this is actually the Witchland series. So this one is Truth Witch. Then we have Wind Witch. And then we have Blood Witch and I truly cannot believe you got me all three books but I'm really really excited because a lot of people I actually trust and share similar tastes with them have actually uh, loved them. I know a few people didn't like them because they compared it to Sarah Gemas, so I really hope it has nothing to do with Sarah Gemas because I hate Sarah Gemas, but I'm really looking forward to the Witchlands series so... Thank you so much, uh, Alex. You truly didn't have to. <laughs> and yes, I'm putting these books on my priority card.
And the last book I got is actually The Haunting of Evelyn Jones by Phil Hikes. It's a middle grade uh, fantasy, I guess, because it has ghosts, etc. So yes, fantasy. It's super short. It's perfect for October. It has to do with the main character who's going to find a book full of ghost stories in a library, I think, or a bookshop. And apparently that book was actually owned by someone who disappeared like 30 years ago. So very mysterious. And it has a scarecrow in the back. So very autumnal. Halloween-y, so I'm looking forward to that book. And it's going on my priority because I don't have space anymore just down. But it's for November, I, I think. Maybe I'm going to read it in October. We'll see. So, well, these are all the books I got in July, August, and September. July, uh, yes, that's right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let me know if you've read any of the books I got, if you like them, if you hated them, or let me know one of the books you got recently, or one of the books you're most excited about, etc. etc. But yeah, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack. Talk to me in the comment section as usual. And until next time, take care, Wolves. Bye.